Julian's Fabric. They have some science kits. Scroll Crystal, Venus Flytrap. I would assume you have to send for the trap, or they've actually got uh, they've got a seed terrarium seed pack. Yeah. So they're growing it from seeds. I don't know how that would work. And they've got a tin can robot. They've got Tasty Science for 26. A salt powered robot. Night vision scope, which is really just an LED you wear and it's got something to magnify your hearing. And then here's a little terrarium. Everything you need is included, just add water. Oh, so it looks like it's really just got something like, okay, it's got wheatgrass and chia seeds in it. And then the mushrooms and the plants and the little creatures are all uh, ornaments. Well, this is nice. Uh, they're having a sale here at Joanne Fabrics till uh, Monday. This is uh, Friday on uh, the two ounce blocks of clay. And this was what I came in to look at. Uh, you know, before 3D printers, if you wanted to prototype something, this would be a good way to do it. And if you can't afford a 3D printer, this is still a good way to do it. This stuff you can mold into shapes and they bake, and it makes a very hard uh, thing. They also have some that remain soft that are uh, uh, like a they're soft like an eraser when you get done they're actually made for eraser sea soft okay um, so it doesn't actually fully harden it can have some advantages uh, here they got some mesh to put clay around well these are some different products up here uh, for this is more of the sculpty type things. They've got molds that you can put things in, then you take them out. Uh, bead making kit, a kit to make beads. I'm sure that's big. They do some pretty complicated beads with this, and here's some other sculpty tools, texture wheels, carving tools. They also have some glow-in-the-dark sculpted clay, which is kind of interesting. You know, anything that glows in the dark, I'm a sucker for. But look at this. All of this, these two-ounce blocks is, are 50% off. So that makes them about 50 for the sculpted clay only. Oh, uh, no, I should look at that again. Some of the colors, yeah, $2.99. Some colors are $3.49. I don't know what, what, oh, these are ones that are... I don't know if these are ones that are mixed or what. No? Huh. I wonder what makes those different. But, oh, there's one that's like stone color, stone texture. So it looks, or granite, it looks like granite when you get done. That makes sense. That that might be more exp expensive. And then, okay, on the bigger side of things, they've got uh, big amounts of sculpted clay. You know, this stuff you bake in a, like a toaster oven for 15 minutes at 200 and something degrees. You have something to produce a keepsake of your baby and stuff. Different colors. Uh, Filmo Basic. These are bigger uh, packages. But I just find this stuff fascinating myself. Kits. Then we've got a a pasta maker that's been repurposed, you know, to to roll out clay. Get other brands, air dried clay, plaster, Paris. They probably got paper mache too. Here's like a little kit with all the different colors. <coughs> kind of neat. Uh, I wish they had like a competitor to. Uh, they have this clay that uh, dries. Uh, you don't have to heat it, but it dries into a form that's still kind of soft and 
it's really expensive but you can do repairs on things with it uh, in other words like if you have a cell phone case or something you could put it in it and then it it hardens uh, but uh, I forget the name of that right now I'm trying to find a glow-in-the-dark one but some for some reason I'm not I'm not seeing that ah, here it is right here I think yeah luminescent glows in the dark so there you go you can uh, you know if you get small kids they'd love this because it glows in the dark but you could do practical things with it too like light switches uh, uh, I don't know how it would work around of like I say with a flashlight it would have to be metal because you're gonna have to bake it so that limits somewhat what you can do with it But anyway, here's the the clay section. That's what I wanted to look at, and they're on sale as well. So about polymer clay master class. Uh, I can't believe I'm sculpting in clay figures. Okay, two of those. They also have, which probably isn't up here because it's so expensive, they have a, a clay that has silver in it, right? And it's very fine particles of silver, so you can mold it. It's it's fairly expensive. It's like twenty-six dollars, I think, for a small quantity. But the idea is you heat it to a certain temperature, and the binder disappears, and then the clay sinters. It's called. If it's fine enough particles, it forms into one solid mass. So you could theoretically mold a ring for yourself, heat it up. And when you get done, you have a, a, a actual 100% silver uh, ring. So it's kind of interesting. I think they do use that same type of concept with some of the 3D printers now to get metal. They uh, extrude it and then they, they heat it. And uh, instead of having some uh, plastic replica of your design you actually have a metal one but it's by, done by this process of sintering which uh, you know I guess you could say happens with snowflakes and things too the finer particles come together and they make one mass in the case of the snow it would become a block of ice so there you go Filmo and Sculpty Clay on sale